Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will help you learn more about manual intervention and approval steps. We're going to cover adding a manual intervention step to your deployment process, how to scope the step for different environments, and performing actions against the interruption. The manual intervention step is a built-in step template that can be added to your project that will pause the deployment task when it gets to that step. Once paused, the task waits for a member of a specified team to either allow the deployment to continue or to cancel it altogether. Before we continue, this video assumes you already have a project and environment created, as well as a deployment process defined. Check out the other videos in our Getting Started series that will walk you through getting your instance and projects set up. Let's get started. We're going to navigate to our deployment process for our Hello World project and add a new step. We'll search for Manual Intervention and click Add for this step template. Let's configure this step now that it's been added to our deployment process. After adding a descriptive name, we'll scroll to the Manual Intervention section where we define the behavior for the step. The instructions are displayed to the user to communicate what needs to be done to decide whether or not the deployment should continue. In our scenario, we're adding a manual intervention because we want someone to explicitly sign off on our deployments to the production environment so that it's documented for auditing purposes. Let's add those instructions. Next, we'll choose the responsible teams for this manual intervention. Check out our earlier Getting Started video for a detailed explanation of users, roles, and teams. For our Hello World project, we only want Octopus administrators to be able to approve the deployment. So we'll add them as the responsible team. We'll leave the block deployment section as is so that other deployments are able to run while this one is paused. Lastly, since we only want this step to run when deploying to production, we'll select Run Only for Specific Environments and choose our production environment. Let's save this step and move it to the beginning of our process. We want the deployment to pause before any other steps are run. We'll create a release and deploy to our development and test environments. Since we scoped our manual intervention to only run in production, the step is skipped for these first two stages of our lifecycle. Now let's deploy to our production environment. You can see that the deployment starts and is immediately paused. Deployments that are awaiting approval are indicated by the orange status symbol in the task log and throughout the rest of the application. We have a message telling us that this task is waiting for manual intervention and must be assigned before proceeding. Before we assign it, we can click on Show Details to view the message we entered. We'll click on Assign to Me. Once we have assigned it, we're able to approve or cancel the deployment. We also have a Notes section where we can add comments regarding the decision we made. Let's first add a helpful comment. If we clicked Abort here, the deployment would be canceled and no other steps would get run. Everything looks good in production, so we're going to approve this deployment and click Proceed. Once our task completes successfully, we can look at the task history over on the right. Octopus keeps track of all the details for this deployment, and we can see that we have a history of who started the deployment, who took responsibility for it, and what the resulting action was, along with the comments. This audit trail is now permanently part of this release, and we can easily come back to see the history if we ever need to. Now it's your turn to use a manual intervention step in your deployment. Here's some recommendations to keep in mind as you do that in your own instance. Write descriptive instructions for your manual intervention. When someone needs to approve or cancel a deployment, you want to make sure they know what they should be checking before making that decision. When you take responsibility for a manual intervention, always add comments. It's always a good idea to document why you are making your decision on the deployment. And lastly, scope your manual intervention step. You won't want your deployment process to be waiting on approval from a project manager when you're deploying to your dev or QA environments. Well, that's the basics of manual intervention steps in Octopus Deploy. Be sure to check out our other Getting Started videos, and thanks for watching. Happy deployments!